ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you have ever heard of Austin Theater, then you've heard of our next guest. Yeah, that's right. Ken Webster is the artistic director of Hyde Park Theater, a member of the Austin Arts Hall of Fame, has been involved in the Austin Theater scene for 40 years, and here to uh, drop a little monologue action, please welcome to the stage, Ken Webster! Ken! The next governor of Texas, Ken Webster! Thank you. I am Dionysus. I am Bacchus, Bromius, and Iacchus, Dithambrus, and Evius. I'm a god, the son of Zeus. But I've assumed the semblance of a mortal and come to Thebes, where my mother, Semele, the daughter of King Cadmus, gave birth to me. Her midwife was the lightning bolt that killed her. There, is the river Dursey, and there the stream is menace. Over there, near the palace, is my mother's tomb, and her ruined house, still smoldering with the living flame of Zeus, Hera's unrelenting hatred towards her. I praise Cadmus. He made the ruins hallowed ground, dedicated to his daughter. I myself created these vines to grow so quickly on them. I was in Phrygia before I came here, and Lydia, where the earth flows gold. I passed the brawling plains of Perea and Bactria's walled towns. The Medes then, their freezing winters. Then opulent Arabia, and down along the bitter salt sea coast of Asia, where Hellenes and barbarians mingle in teeming, beautifully towered cities. When I had taught my dances there, established the rituals of my mystery, making my divinity manifest to mortals. I came to Greece, to Thebes, the first Greek city. I've caused to shriek in ecstasy for me, the first whose women I've clothed in fawn skin, and in whose hands I've placed my ivy spear, the Thyrsus. Why did I choose Thebes? Because my mother's sisters, who should have been the last to even think of saying such a thing, started rumors that Dionysus was not the son of Zeus, that Semele's lover had been a mortal, and she'd imputed the disgrace to Zeus, a fraud Cadmus had contrived. They kept whispering that Zeus destroyed her because she'd lied and said he was her lover. Therefore, I've stung them with madness and goaded them raving from their houses they're living on the mountain now, delirious, dressed as I've compelled them to be dressed, in the garments of my rituals. And all the rest, the whole female seed of Thebes, I've driven frenzied out of house and home. They're with the daughters of King Cadmus now, huddled on bare rocks beneath the pines. The city must learn and know, against its will or not, that it is uninitiated in my mysteries. As for Semele, her memory will be vindicated when I appear to mortal eyes as the power she bore Zeus. Cadmus has abdicated now to Pentheus, the son of Agave, another of his daughters. And Pentheus is warring with divinity by excluding me from rituals and not invoking my name in prayers. Because of this, I'm going to demonstrate to him and to all Thebes the god I really am. When order is established, I'll go on revealing my identity in other lands. But if by rage and force of arms the citizens of Thebes drive the Bacchae from the mountain, then I lead the army of my Maenads into war. This is why I have assumed a mortal shape, shedding my divine form for a human's. Now, women! Come all of you who left the ramparts of Timulus, who left Lydia, left barbarian lands to follow me and worship me. My women, come. Bring the drum we brought from Phrygia, the drum that pulses with the beat of Mother Earth. Surround the royal walls of Pentheus with thunder, 
Let the city of King Cadmus see. I am going to the gorges of Scytheron now. I am going to the Bacchae, to their dances. Thank you. Governor-elect Ken Webster! <laughs> <laughs> 